Hi again, everyone. I hope you're all doing really well. So today, I'm taking a bit of a dive into the semiconductor industry in the wider sense, but trying to focus a bit more on what's happening with NVIDIA, um, particularly uh, concerning their upcoming earnings on August 28th or 29th. Um, while NVIDIA has been the darling of the stock market with its $3 trillion market cap now and dominance in AI chips, uh, there's another player behind the scenes that's equally crucial to the story, and that's Applied Materials. And they have a market cap of about $170 billion. So they're not a tiny operation, but they are not as big as NVIDIA, obviously. So Applied Materials primarily produces the complex machinery needed to manufacture chips, and their recent performance might be a strong indicator of what's to come for NVIDIA. So what's the role in the semiconductor industry for Applied Materials, just very quickly? So Applied Materials is a cornerstone of the semiconductor industry. Their business is split into three segments, semiconductor systems, applied global services, and display and adjacent markets. The semiconductor systems segment is the heart of their operations, generating $19.7 billion in net sales for fiscal 2023, which is an impressive 74% up of the company's total revenue. This segment directly serves some of the biggest names in the industry, including Taiwan Semiconductor, or TSMC, Samsung, and Intel. So why is this important for NVIDIA? Because NVIDIA's AI chips rely heavily on the advanced manufacturing capabilities provided by companies like Applied Materials. TSMC, for instance, supplies over 43% of NVIDIA's chips, and as one of Applied Materials' largest customers, any uptick in Applied Materials' performance could signal strong demand for NVIDIA products. So in terms of the recent performance of Applied Materials, let's take a closer look at Applied Materials' recent performance. As of August 15, the company posted its fiscal Q3 results, which not only beat analysts' expectations, but also provided some intriguing insights. Applied Materials reported earnings of $2.12 per share, surpassing the expected $2.03 per share, and their revenue hit $6.78 billion, again exceeding estimates of $6.68 billion. But the real kicker is their forward guidance. Applied Materials expects revenue to reach $6.93 billion next quarter, with CEO Gary Dickerson highlighting a strong pull related to AI and data center computing. This, crucial, this is crucial because NVIDIA's success is tightly interwoven with the broader demand for AI and data centers. If Applied Materials is experiencing strong demand in these areas, it's likely that NVIDIA will too, which bodes well for their upcoming earnings report. So what's the AI connection and market dynamics? So AI is the driving force behind the current semiconductor boom, and NVIDIA has been at the forefront of this revolution with its powerful GPUs. But it's important to remember that AI developments is a highly collaborative process that involves multiple players in the semiconductor ecosystem. Applied materials by supplying the tools that allow companies like TSMC to produce NVIDIA's chips plays an indirect yet pivotal role in NVIDIA's ability to meet demand. Moreover, Applied Materials' recent earnings call highlighted a significant trend. The race for AI leadership is becoming more intense, and companies are pushing to bring next-generation semiconductor technology to market faster. This urgency is likely reflected in the robust demand for NVIDIA's AI chips, further suggesting that NVIDIA's upcoming earnings could be just as impressive as those in previous quarters. So what's been the market reaction, and what are the analyst insights saying? Um, now... The market has reacted to applied materials and what analysts are saying uh, is interesting. So despite posting strong earnings, applied materials stock fell slightly by 1.86% after the report, mainly due to concerns about a sales decline in China, their largest geographical revenue segment. However, analysts remain bullish. Morgan Stanley raised their price target on applied materials, citing strong performance, and JP Morgan sees further upside, raising their target to $250. Uh, what does this mean for NVIDIA? If analysts are raising targets for applied materials, it's a good sign that the semiconductor industry as a whole is in a healthy state. The fact that applied materials is seeing strong demand, particularly from AI-related segments, could be a leading indicator that NVIDIA will also exceed expectations. Remember, NVIDIA's stock has soared after its last two earnings reports, and this trend could continue if applied materials results are anything to go by. So what should we be watching for with NVIDIA's earnings? As we approach NVIDIA's earnings report on the August of 28th, uh, keep an eye on the broader semiconductor landscape, especially the performance of key suppliers like Applied Materials. The strong demand that Applied Materials is experiencing in AI and data center segments could very well translate into another blockbuster quarter for NVIDIA. 
While no one can predict the future with certainty, the indicators are pointing in a positive direction. For those of you invested in NVIDIA or considering it, this is a crucial time to stay informed and understand the in to connectedness of the semiconductor supply chain. If applied materials is seeing growth, it's likely NVIDIA will too. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all doing well and share your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, may the markets trade in your favor. Cheers.